Now I've had some people ask me, can you actually use an external monitor on the new M1 iPad Pro? And the answer is yes, you can. In today's video, I'm actually going to test it out. I'm also gonna plug some accessories into the iPad Pro and also test them out because obviously there's really no change to the USB-C connector and port on the iPad, so it should work fine. And guys, if you do want to see this particular iPad, which now has Thunderbolt capability attached to a Thunderbolt dock a little bit later. Let me know in the comment section below because that is gonna be planned for my next video. So as you guys can see over here to the side, we have my Dell U2720Q monitor. I've had it on quite a few videos on this channel. It's a really good high quality 4K 27 inch IPS monitor from Dell. It also has USB-C functionality, which means you can actually connect a Mac or an iPad with just a single cable. And then you can actually plug all of your wired devices like SSDs or keyboards or mice into the actual monitor itself. And so when you plug this cable into your iPad or Mac, you get access to all of those devices. So with this particular setup, I've actually got a mouse, a keyboard, uh, the keyboard I'm using is the Keychron K6. It's a wireless keyboard, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use it while it's connected to a cable uh, just to see if it works. And I've also got a two terabyte NVMe SSD drive also connected to the monitor. So first things first, let's actually plug in the iPad and we'll see if it actually comes up at all. I'll just unlock it using Face ID. Okay, and as we can see there, that is working perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna move this keyboard. And as you can see, the mouse I'm using is just a really simple wired mouse. So if we just test out this keyboard real quick, you can see it works perfectly fine. So if I just quickly switch between apps, so I've got an editing program open here. You can see that works fine. Uh, I can go into File Explorer. And by the way, you can actually see the NVMe drive popping up here, so that works perfectly fine. Uh, I can also browse folders uh, and also go back with the mouse. So that's working perfectly fine. So again, guys, that NVMe SSD drive is connected directly to the monitor, which is then connected to the iPad with the USB-C cable. So let's try out some editing on LumaFusion. Now, I'm honestly not a super big fan of editing with a mouse and keyboard on this particular app. Um, yes, you can drag things around uh, you can navigate the timeline fairly well, um, but to be honest, it's actually easier to use touch to actually edit on LumaFusion, funnily enough. Um, but this just proves that it definitely does work. As you can see here, I can reorder clips, I can shorten them, make them bigger. I can also add titles and stuff like that in. Um, so yeah, it works perfectly fine. So just give me one sec, guys. <laughs> I just need to get this cat out of the way because I think she's actually blocking the shot. Okay, so obviously everything works, but what about the keyboard and the typing experience? Now, I will be doing a mouse and keyboard Word and Excel video later, so I'll leave that for a separate video. But as you guys can see here, this works perfectly fine. I can type whatever I want. And that works perfectly fine as well. So really no issues there. The keyboard's very responsive, as you would expect. Uh, really no difference at all from the previous generation iPads. Okay, so it's pretty obvious to me that this is exactly the same as the previous generation iPads. You're gonna have the exact same functionality. Uh, there's no real issues. However, in saying that, you are still hamstrung by iPad OS. While this does look nice, and I suppose it's kind of cool to have an iPad displaying on a screen like this, the actual quality is quite good as well, I have to admit, like there's not really any pixelation, it's quite clear. Um, it's not really easy to work on, like the actual workflow I think would honestly be easier just using the iPad. Uh, perhaps if you were editing and you could actually preview your final clip on this monitor while doing everything in the iPad, that would be better. So hopefully come WWDC, and I've been saying it quite a few times, hopefully Apple and some of these developers will improve the performance of the iPad in terms of software. They'll add some new features, update some apps, and that might make it a little bit more intuitive to use a mouse and keyboard and an external monitor. But for now, guys, in my opinion, it's a little bit of a gimmick. So hopefully very soon, Apple is going to release some updates to address that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the Thunderbolt dock videos coming soon, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.